Welcome to the Let's Try It number six. Today we will be making candles with TJ, Morgan, Ocean, and Gretchen. Hi, I'm TJ. Okay, the materials needed will be your candle wax, which you simply heat up in the microwave, your container, um, and your wick, a plastic knife, uh, or a, these are chopsticks actually, something that you can scrape the edge of your container with so you don't waste any wax, and glue to glue your wick. Um, be sure that you get the right size of wick for a container, and these are votive wicks. And um, I you can use a hot glue gun, or I like E6000, um, and you just simply glue your wick on and straighten your wick. You might want to trim it if it's really long so you don't mess up your candle when you trim it after you pour your wax in there. And I'll, I'll explain that in a minute. So, um, sorry, glue gun. So the girls have already glued their wax in, I mean their wicks in. And the next thing you do is you put it in the microwave. And I just do mine in 30, 30 second intervals just because I don't know. I, don't want it to get too hot. And I wouldn't pour out of a big container. I would pour out of a small container. And this is pre-scented wax. If you need more, I'll give you more. Uh, and it is, what scent is this? This is apple pie, just apple pie, right? <laughs> and then you simply just dump it. In. Dump it in your container. Y'all need more? And I like to get the white refill wax versus the color because it doesn't, it's not as pretty unless it matches your container, especially when you use things like seashells or something white. You need more? Just a little bit. Hey, wait, do you want the rest of mine? Yeah, you want yes. to add you overflow yours. I overflow it? Well, that's okay. There's like a lot in there, Ocean. Okay. Right, there's a lot in there. Okay, that's Oh, cool. oh. <laughs> Show us. It's going to fall out if they show. No, I mean just... Now you use there your... You uh, straighten your wick before your candle starts... To, I mean, before your candle dries. Because you don't want to move your candle, your wick after your candle dries because it'll... It won't be smooth on the top. Right. You know what I mean? Yeah. Okay, and this is to scrape your cup if you have extra wax in there. Yeah, I have extra wax in this cup. Okay, so everybody's done with the apple pie? Are you done, Morgan? Yes. Okay. Okay. Because you can always... Because you don't want to mix your wax to the next scent in the same cup. Okay, the next scent we have is the Snowflakes at Midnight. Uh, I'm supposed to be getting up early, but it's not quite healthy. <laughs> I'll I'll put it over there. Okay. Um, if you pick shells out as your container, you need to be sure that they set flat. A lot of shells are tilted, and your wax will pour out. So be sure if you pick a shell out that you put it on its back, and it's going to sit, you know, even. Here you can do that. Sometimes you can just melt a little, a little bit and then pour it in your cup. I have a light like down here, by the way. Okay. 
not all the way melted, but it'll, it's still the bottom of it. I'll go ahead and, if you do, I'll go ahead and do it now so it, half of it doesn't dry before I melt the rest. And you want to be sure not to get any of the chunks in your little cup because they're, it's white and you can it's kind of transparent and you can see chunks in it. So you don't want chunks in no, it. You don't want like chunks of wax in it. So you try to get it uh, melted all the way. You need more? Yes. You don't have to do any more. That'll be fine. You're the wick. Oh, here. Give me your cup. And how much more ocean? Oh, well, okay. Okay. Do you need more? Everybody's good. a little different because it's colored and white wax is prettier than colored wax and that matches your container in my opinion. And what smell is this? This is peaches and mango but it's a colored wax so you have to be careful. Smell that. What kind of container you put it in so it matches? I mean, I would think some people would, it wouldn't bother, but I like. To me, the white candle wax is just prettier. So, we didn't have this one in a while. Do you think I need a little bit more? Maybe a tad. Can I have more? Give her what you have left over. Okay. Give her what you have me. The other one. Give her what you have me. Morgan. Oh, Morgan. That makes sense. Yeah, it, it does. I'm just not Thank sure. You. Is know. this your peach cup? This top one? Those are both peach cups. Okay. You got you have enough ocean? I'm gonna need some more CJ. Okay. Do you think this is enough? Yeah. Yeah. And before you use your your candle, you might want to trim your wick a little bit more, uh, so it'll burn evenly. And we have uh, we went to the dollar store, and we have gift boxes that we can put. Now this specific one has a little bit of chunk in it, and I'm gonna mash it down so it doesn't. Do you have chunks in yours? Yeah. 
I also have <laughs> chunks. Okay, then it's not heated. And that. I'm, I'm gonna okay. need just a little tiny bit more. Okay. Yeah, mash your chunks before you get more stuff to dry. I think that might be color. Are you sure that's chunks and not just color, different color? No, I'm sure it's chunks. I think it is chunky. Yes. Okay. It is chunks. Here you go. Here's. Okay, you want to get me a gift box? The gift boxes so we can. So, do you want yours? You just need them so we can show. And I think you can get them on sale a lot at um, the dollar store. You want one of these? Hmm? Okay. And with tissue paper, and you can put your candle inside. It's a gift. And the teacups would be awesome uh, for Valentine's Day and Mother's Day. The seashells um, are just kind of cool because they're on the coast, so um, you can use any type of container. Just be sure that when you order your stuff, your wick matches your container. So, and that's it.